Kano. Uh, I come from a school of thought, yes. which I found the uh, most recent definition uh, too. The prof uh, made reference to strategic issue, prof? Strategic issue? Uh, Proficiency. <laughs> that one. Whereby it doesn't necessarily uh, mean that by virtue of being in space, you need to be confined to other space operates. You innovate, you observe, you find solutions and you implement. Yeah. So thank you very much, uh, Prof. So my name is Mohamed Kuen, um, from the Teacher Center Project, a special project in the College of Education, which founding purpose uh, was and continues to be to enhance teaching practice, the practice of teaching in the College of Education in preparation of our students. So this has taken two forms thus far. One, we have teacher centers. These are spaces in communities where the, the, the Department of Basic Education set up venues where their educators and education managers convene from time to time uh, to be able to uh, develop uh, themselves and, and, and expand their knowledge in certain fields as far as their education work is concerned. Now, the Department of Basic Education has come uh, uh, to an agreement with UNISA, whereby it says UNISA be at students uh, primarily may also benefit from these particular spaces. So, in each community, we have uh, 33 centers at the moment in four provinces. Provinces are Northwest, Uwananda, uh, Hauding, and KZN. Between now and the end of the, the first quarter of 2020, we'll also be expanding to the five other provinces I have not mentioned. Uh, you can use deductive reasoning there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been tasked just to tell you about the technological uh, part of our support to teaching practice in the College of Education. Who of you have access to YouTube? Okay, by show of hands. So, any of you, uh, whether you get home, or as you are sitting, you can do what I do now. YouTube.com and then you type in UNISA TPY T I P P Y derived from T P of teaching practice. T P Chu. So there you will find a YouTube channel where the passionate academics in the College of Education um, prepare and make or rather present and record lessons for you as part of a support. When I was a student in the College of Human Sciences, there was one professor who wrote a, a part of our study guide, Prof. Tinku. I always imagined him to be this big uh, Zulu man with a chair and a car, you know. Uh, but had TP2 been there, uh, I would have at least gotten a glimpse of who is, is it this man who's giving me assignments and writing from level one up to level three, as it were, in my undergrad. So here you've got, for example, a presentation by Dr. Inge Stapo. She's the lecturer of BPT 1501, isn't it? The online module, those are the module. She oh, she was. Yes, she was. But the founder, can I see? Yeah, the founder. Sure. Here she is. Then you've got the Dr. Karel uh, giving a presentation on community profiling. Then you've got Dr. Oh, sorry, Professor Jojo, who's giving a practical lesson on geometry. Um, then it goes on and on and on. So for this uh, particular uh, session or season, uh, we are gravitating towards examination uh, period. The, the academics within the College of Education have come together and are queuing in our studios uh, to develop lessons such as this and such as the presentations that you have had today in preparation for your examinations on a module-specific uh, context. I want to just take two minutes, uh, Prof. Yeah. Just to play the first two minutes of Professor Jojo's presentation. Uh, good morning, class. Good morning. 
Today we, we're doing uh, geometry. We are actually going to be doing a practical lesson. And for this particular lesson, all you need to do as a teacher is to have cut some circles like the one I am having. You can see their different sizes. You can see their different colors. They are different sizes again. And for this particular exercise, that's exactly what you need. So as a teacher, what you can do at home, you can use your side plates, you can use your, uh, your, your very big plate so that you can have a big circle, or you can use any round object. Now round as opposed to circular, just be very careful that it is round. So now you bring this into class and mind you, if you're having 30 students, it would mean you have cut 30 of these round things. But just make sure they are not the same, because if they are the same, then the learners cannot get the gist of your lesson. So when they are not the same, you cut them. What to do, you just cut one, and then you put it on top of many other papers, and you use your pair of scissors, then you will have six at a time. Six by five, you're getting 30 of them. That should be it easy exercise. So all you need are these kinds of discs uh, for this particular lesson. Now I'll use only one disc right now and we are going to start off by justifying why this shape is called a circle. Why do you call this a circle? You need to ask your learners. They need to tell you why this, they, if they say for example, because it is round, now, round is not a math uh, concept. For it to be a circle, it has to have some certain features. And the first one is the one that I want you to find. I want you to find a circle, uh, sorry, a center. So, colleagues, this is just uh, an example of one of the many uh, videos that we are producing for you as the College of Education, the College of Choice. So the purpose really is to create a new breed, a different type of UNISA B head graduate through exploiting and exploring as much as possible the E in OTR. Um, so these are part of the, the various uh, 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 methods of us uh, trying to assist you. And Prof. Mahano, actually this program is also part and parcel uh, of the discussions uh, that we had. As a result, you will find that on the very same TV show, the presentations uh, of today as well as of tomorrow, they will then be uploaded to this particular platform. For students who couldn't wake up on time, couldn't travel, and for whatever reasons could not be here, they will then be able to, 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 to log on to TV show and also post their comments there. So for the future, Prof, I'm just looking yeah. uh, very quick that the, the the difference between contact universities and OTL institutions such as UNISA uh, is the extent to which the desire for contact is satisfied. Uh, so this, in the context of UNISA, is part and parcel of the methods. So at this stage, what we have done, we said, let us have all or as many uh, academics as possible that introduce themselves, give a glimpse of what their modules are about, and then the next stage, which is next year, hopefully through the support uh, that we are uh, currently getting, is that before your first assignment, you have a presentation. Before or after your first assignment, you get feedback based on how students fare, looking at the trends, how they have responded to questions and so forth. Assignment two, similarly, then last step will be examinations. Right? Hopefully in the future, we can even go deeper and say, because as a visa student, you can't come to class and, and be, you know, uh, be taught uh, as it were. We even get a, a, a chapter by chapter a type of presentation. So we're still in the process of, of lobbying the power within the college, but we believe that we will be able uh, to be the outstanding uh, college of education in the context of UNISA, creating a different a new spectacular breed of uh, education graduates. So I encourage everybody to go on to TV Shoop and click on the subscribe button so that every time there's a new video which is uploaded, automatically you get a notification and you view it. So from myself and the team, uh, thank you very much, Prof. Mahan. Thank you. Thank you.